thunder in summer or winter the ocean is calling me back to florida sand 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 to florida sand 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 the wind and the ocean are calling me back to the sand sand Sand, sand, sand. Waves softly sparkle beneath the bright moon. Night birds are crying, return to me soon. Oh, Florida, Florida, my heart's you ever for always. The love of this man is Florida sand, sand, sand. Florida sand, 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 beautiful sun-kissed land, Florida sand. That is the beautiful song called Florida Sand, written by Will McLean. He loved the place we're at right now, the Oklawaha River. Hi, welcome to Notables. Today we're featuring Florida legend songwriter Will McLean. Will McLean was born near Chipley, Florida in 1919. He left an endearing legacy of beautifully crafted folk ballads that use words and melodies to paint a picture of Florida. Will's love for Florida is woven into his music and tells stories of the state's history, its ecology, and its people. Will's grandfather gave him his first musical instrument. It was a gourd and cornstick fiddle with a horsehair bow. At the age of six, he wrote his first song called Away O.E. after hearing migrating geese fly overhead while he was recovering from a high fever. Will McLean is authentically referred to as the father of Florida folk. He is credited with writing over 3,700 songs and stories. Will McLean's best known songs include Hold Back the Waters, Osceola's Last Words, Song of Conk Island, Cush Holston, Wild Hog, Away O.E., and The Ballad of Silver Springs. That short list, however, doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of Will McLean's contribution to Florida music. Will McLean was a fifth-generation Floridian. His love for the land and his awareness of a need to adhere to good stewardship practices of the land, of the waters, the sky, and the plants and animals made McLean an environmentalist before the word was as common as it is today. Will's songs played an early role in the pro-environmental movement. Because of a black hat that he wore frequently, Will McLean became known as the Black Hat Troubadour. In 1989, McLean was a recipient of the Florida Folk Heritage Award, and the annual Florida Folk Life Festival in White Springs was dedicated to him. In 1987, Pete Seeger called Will McLean the greatest living songwriter in America today. Although Will McLean spent his life traveling the state of Florida, he took time out for concerts and festivals, and he even performed at New York City's Carnegie Hall. He was sought after for concerts, as well as festivals and even school programs. But he felt compelled to turn his back on celebrity, and he preferred to travel the rural Florida that he loved, camping in the wilderness areas, like this one, visiting friends and absorbing Florida's history. Cancer claimed the life of Will in January 1990. He was laid to rest on the banks of the Akawaha River at Gore's Landing. This is where we're standing right now, and this is where a permanent marker honors him. On January 24, 1990, friends of Will McLean gathered at the Thomas Center in Gainesville, Florida to honor his memory. His fellow musicians sang his songs and shared reminiscences about their beloved friend. 
The Will McLean Foundation was established shortly before Will's death, incorporated by the state of Florida as a not-for-profit organization. Its goals are to promote, in the state of Florida and elsewhere, the works of Will McLean and the works of other Florida artists. The foundation also provides for research, education, performance, and training to promote understanding and appreciation of the works of Florida's artists. The Will McLean Music Festival is held each year in the spring. The annual celebration honors the work of Florida's troubadour. On April 17, 1996, Will McLean was inducted into the prestigious Florida Artists Hall of Fame. Will McLean has earned the title of the father of Florida folk. Because of his love of Florida, he was inspired to write about all of the places that he has been, and his songs continue to inspire others to write about various places in the state of Florida. And that is why we are featuring Will McLean in Notables, the well-sung heroes of songwriting. <laughs> twenties there came a big flood. It drowned four thousand, their graves was the mud. Twas nothing could withstand that great tidal wave. And the ghosts of the vanished, still crying from the grave. Lord, hold back the waters of Lake Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee's blue waters run cold. When the wild winds are blowing across Okeechobee, they're calling and seeking for other poor souls. Oh, Lake Okeechobee's blue waters run 